Hey everyone, this is Josh from Before, and I'm here with McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse Batwing from Batman Incorporated, uh, which actually could be a pretty cool source material to mine for some action figures. Maybe not my favorite character designs, but I think some of them would look pretty cool in plastic. Batwing here was sent over to review by McFarlane Toys. I actually did not pre-order this guy. I had him in my cart. I was all ready to go, uh, and then the last minute I removed from cart. I'll explain why in a minute. First, let's look at him real quick inside the box here. Batman ink, not my favorite artwork on the back. There's that if you're looking for him out in the wild. All right, I've got him out of the box now and I feel a little stupid for not pre-ordering him because this is a really, really cool figure. I'll tell you where my head was at though. I've got such a distaste for when they do any surface that's meant to be metallic and it's not painted, doesn't have like metallic paint on it. It just never looks quite right. And you can tell looking at it when you get real close, it almost looks kind of cheap. Like it makes it look like kid stuff. You know what I mean? And this, you see the, the marbling is very obvious. Cause I feel like if you put this guy on the shelf, fully chromed out, doesn't matter if people know his name or not, he's gonna look super cool and, and end up flying off the shelf. Maybe I'm wrong, but it brings to mind like this power suit Lex Luthor, which I think is a really killer figure. One of the best portraits they've done to date but because so much of this guy is just unpainted bare plastic that doesn't really bring out all the great details of the sculpt, he ends up maybe not soaring to the heights that he could. Anyway, Batwing, I picked him up. I played with him for two seconds, and I was like, oh, they really did put some love into this guy, though. Of course, his wings here on the back, really rad-looking high-tech Batwing backpack. The wings don't fold up all the way or anything, but they got a decent amount of range there. Of course, you're gonna have this guy flying a lot, so his head moves a ton. This is the kind of thing we need to see on a Superman figure. Uh, so when he is flying, he's able to look straight ahead. Tons of movement in this torso. Look at this, folks. This is what we need more figures to be able to do. And if you look, it's coming in here forward at the diaphragm and forward up the waist a little bit as well. So you're getting double, double crunching action. Pelvis piece ends up being a bit gappy because of all that action there at the waist. So you might see down his drawers a little bit, but he really just has tons of action where it counts. Shoulders lift up like so. Rotate that bicep and that shoulder armor moves out of the way. Really tight, double elbows, uh, despite the fact that he's got some pretty big cannons on here. And I do like that, uh, that, the, pet, that the pins feel somewhat deliberate there. Almost feel like part of his mechanical suit here. Pretty great movement there at the wrists. The ball joints tucked up in there big time. Tremendous leg action. And right now I'm looking at what's on the camera and I feel like in all in the here on camera in this light uh, you can't quite tell how obviously this is not metallic. The camera is being very flattering right now. But when you look at this guy in person, he does have that kind of just plasticky look about him. Ankles that are meant to look again like his mechanical suit here. Chunky feet. Yeah, I I'm feeling kind of dumb for not um, not pre-ordering pre -ordering this guy. Because he's actually a banger. But I'm going to have to spray paint this guy or something. Chrome him out. He just looks a little too cheapy. Uh, you know, without that extra coat of razzle-dazzle. Great looking portrait too, by the way. Love the domino mask that turns into this uh, bat headgear thing. Me mechanical looking. Wraps all the way around like Lobot. And you know what? I almost got through this entire review without even checking to see if the wings come off. And you know what? They do. That's huge. That's a pretty big deal. That Red Robin figure, we really wanted those wings to be able to come off. Uh, and they have made it happen with this guy right here. Of course, I have almost no reason to display him with the wings down, the big wings changing up that overall silhouette are one of the big draws to this character design for me. 
and a big reason to put him on the shelf. That's just a really fantastic little element there. Great attention to detail and just a great effort made for fun factor's sake. Out of the box, he's got a pair of fists, which works for me. He doesn't have any handheld accessories or weapons, so the fists are well suited for flying or punching. He does come with some jets. He's got uh, one jet, two jet, yellow jet, blue jet. These are for his feet and his jetpack. Jets peg into the bottom of the feet here, because of course we all know that shooting flames out of the bottom of your feet will make you fly. Love that uh, very Saturday morning cartoon. A little effect there in the back one pegs into the bottom of his winged jetpack there. And now he's all ready to take to the skies, or he would be if he had a flight stand. Um, for some reason, the guy here with the wings, with literal like jets on his feet, if you put the jets on his feet, he can't stand up. Um, and he doesn't have a flight stand, which is egregious oversight. Really bad move. That means out of the box, I pick this guy up, I can't put him up in the air as the good Lord intended. So that really hurts. And here he is with the Bat family, which is getting closer to being just right. I've got that new Tim Drake coming. That's going to get us a little bit closer. Um, I still don't think they've gotten the pint-sized boy wonder Dick Grayson down perfectly yet. And I would really like a Burnside-style comic Batgirl, if for nothing else, just some color variety. I like to break that up as much as possible. And actually, Batwing is going to be great for doing that. With the wings and the silver, he's got a much different silhouette and color profile, so he'll stand apart. So that is Batwing. Flight stand not included. That's an important omission. Oh, you know what? One little detail I gotta admit that I really like. When you put these little jets on his feet, the second jet actually does line up with this little um, kind of thruster port on the bottom of his boot, so you're, you know, you let your imagination kind of fill in the, the blanks there. But aside from no flight stand and the fact that this is a homework assignment now, I have to I have to paint this guy metallic. This this cheapy plastic look just ain't gonna cut it. But man, it's a, it's a really fun figure in hand. The parts that they put the love into, it's really there. So I mean, even just like little things like how they put ratchety notches on the inside of the elbow joints that then kind of line up with these sort of ribbed plates there on the forearm. That's nice. They really did. They put some love in, into the areas where they could. So if you're thinking about getting them, maybe that will help you make a decision. I'm going to go for now. I got to tape off all the pieces of this guy that aren't going to get blasted with metallic paint. All right. Peace out, folks.